Welcome back to yet another Star Stable video, besties. And today we have 25 plus things to do in Star Stable. If you are broke, if you don't have your big shillings, if you don't have star coins, or even if you're bored. So without any further ado, let's just get into it. These are completely free ideas of stuff that you could do in game. Let me know if you want a part two. And without any further ado, let's just hop right into the video then. Scurry, scurry, bestie, let's go. This first idea is very simple. Of of course, it's the classic train your horses, Basti. You know, do all that daily training, get it done. It feels productive, like it really does. And then you will have horses maxed for the championship. Even if it's your starter horse, you will have your horse maxed. And yeah, it's just really helpful and something fun that you could do. You could always put something on in the background to listen to as well. Next is to play around with the camera settings and take some aesthetic photos in Star Stable. I recommend an area with flowers in the background or I just personally like a lot of greenery but of course there are a bunch of like hidden super cute aesthetic areas in Star Stable and it's always fun to explore them and find some of your favorite photo taking locations. I personally always forget this is an option but you can get one free fortune telling reading from Yidris per day bestie so definitely go check that out and have yourself just a fun time checking out what your fortune or your equestrian fortune of the day is. It's it's always interesting to see what Star Stable gives you, and I feel like most of us usually forget to do this. Check out this hidden quest behind Doyle's Abbey. You just want to follow this path, and there should be this little, like, grave? Click it, and there is a hidden quest that you can do. I already achieved it, but you can as well, and it's just something fun to check out, because why not? Next, you can make an outfit using global store items and save it for a later time once you have star coins. Or if you have Yorvik shillings, you can also add these items to your wish list, so it's really helpful. And it's just a fun way to make some outfits with items that you wouldn't normally have. So I definitely recommend this. It's really fun and you could give yourself challenges like make a completely blue outfit or a completely pink outfit, as well as discovering other items that you might want in Star Stable for a later time. Instead of using Global Store, I recommend taking a look at all of these mini stores around Yorvik. A lot of these items are actually like really cheap sometimes and you could create great wish lists with these items as well as these items are usually not found in Global Store since they are older or some are even newer and you might add something to your wish list that you like. For this hidden Easter egg, you could go to Steve's and go and check out this little, yep, Easter egg in Star Stable where you see a picture of Anne and Concord riding before the incident. Go around Yorvik and find some outfits that you like. I mean, everyone is so creative and you can save these outfits for a later time. Or if you just like the idea of it and want to change up the outfits with colors or different items, that is definitely something that you can do as well. There are definitely a lot of great like outfits already made on Yorvik. So you can check them out and um, yeah, it's just something fun to do kind of in your free time, you know, just go ahead take some pictures of some random besties outfits and then you can either choose to recreate them at a later time or recreate them with your own twist in the future. So it's really up to you guys. Check out your journal. There is a, a lot of like information here that you might be missing. You could do the stars. You could check out more about the NPC characters. You can even check the memories and little snippets of the star stable lore. So there's a lot of stuff here that you could check out in your free time. Change servers, that way you can meet different clubs, different people, and overall it's every server has a different vibe, you know bestie? So just check out a different vibe and you could even rank the servers and get their like personalities down if you know what I mean. Take the bus and go get yourself a field trip, discover some of the places that you normally wouldn't go to. There's a lot of like hidden gems in these areas and I feel like people don't usually explore them as much so it's definitely something that you can explore and just get to know better. Next, this idea also will get you a little bit more Yorvik shillings so you can get more in your pocket, some more awesome Yorvik shillings. But anyways, do Pharaoh's flowers and in the end you will also get yourself a super cute owl pet that you can have for free. 
inspect, or even compare stats with other people's outfits in Star Stable. If you like their outfit, go ahead, compare stats, check out their horses, their horse names, or even check out like what they kind of roleplayed their horse as, you know, like a youngling, a old horse, an infinite horse, what they set their horse as. It's just interesting to see what other people have, and sometimes this could be a fun way to pass the time. You can either host or join a current role that is advertised in Global Chat or you could even go on say chat and join one of the role plays available there and just have a fun time with some role plays you know where you could do rider role a wild role a movie role anything you want a camp role too take you and your horse for a nice little swim at the fort pinta beach there are any current events in game, I definitely recommend going to check them out. There are a lot of limited items in shop that you could add to your wish list, or just get a bunch of free items. I know with this rainbow festival, there are rainbows, and you could collect some for free items. Check out any of the hidden details that you might not have noticed in game before. These also take some really cute pictures, I must say, but sometimes just look around and you'll find all of these super cute details that Star Stable added to the game that just seem to go unnoticed by a lot of people and then you will be able to notice them more. Create either a new training route that you think will be fastest, or just like create cha training routes for different things, you know, like fastest training route, best, like most experienced training route, least experienced training route. Go ahead and create all the training routes you could ever desire. Explore areas that you normally wouldn't explore or that e are either like kind of closed off, hidden, most people don't go to. Here's an example in Epona. Clean out your mailbox from any championships or anything you want to clean out with your mailbox. You could also send anyone mail, like if you see someone standing nearby, give them a mail compliment. Like, why not? They'd love that. Or just like mailbox them a compliment. Or even mail yourself, because that is possible in Star Stable. That you could read at a later date. Hey, why not? Organize your home stable, either by like stats or the next ones you want to train, or the least trained ones that you don't really want to train, just organize your home stable. Sell any loose items that you might not want anymore or that you might not use. This way you will also get Jorvik shillings and the Jorvik shillings pile up pretty fast. If any area has been updated or released recently, definitely go check it out and do like a thorough examination of the area or if new like land was released with this area, a little bit of land was released, you could check that out as well. Ask Global Chat any question that you might have. You are bound to get some interesting responses and you could even like make a friend or you know make a club with someone. You know you just ask global random questions. It really gets the conversation going sometimes. I don't know if that's a good going or bad going but it's going. Window shop for any horses that you might like, pick out your favorites and write them down on a wish list. At a later date, you could also go back to them and see if you are still in love with these horses and just modify your horse wish list to like the ones that you really, really want the very, very most. Bye everyone, thank you so much for watching this Star Stable video on things to do when you're bored slash broke in Star Stable. I hope this helped. Leave any extra ideas you'd personally add to this list down in the comments down below. And as always, besties, better than the resties. Have the bestiest day ever. Cha cha cha, cha cha cha, cha cha cha. Also, I added sparkles to my makeup today. Can you see? Look at that. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay, anyways. Bye bye, bestie. Have a glorious day. Ha <laughs> <laughs>